Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 152 of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. Um, I'm going to try to get some show notes up for today's episode. Um, so those will be in the Ravelry group and on the blog. Um, links down below on YouTube. Um, they might be a little uh, later than the podcast because I'm trying to do a whole bunch of stuff today before I leave for Rhinebeck tomorrow. Yeah, going to Rhinebeck. Um, I, did, I missed uh, podcasting last week because work got very, very busy and I was doing some extra stuff and um, I just ran out of time, um, but I wanted to get an episode up and out before I went to Rhinebeck. So um, it's going to be a quickie for you guys today, a quick episode because I have to leave for work in about 25 minutes. And um, I'm not going to try to edit this before I go to work, but I want to get it completely recorded, get some more packing, well not some more packing, but grab a couple of things, you know, because, um, yeah, it's been a busy morning. Um, I uh, have been working on finishing the sweater that I decided was going to be my Rhinebeck sweater, and um, I also had to clean up my car this morning, and I started doing that, and then I had to stop because I forgot to put gloves on because it was about 35 degrees. And uh, so then I had to come back and warm up, so I went upstairs, gathered a few things for that I'm giving to people. Um, I did some packing or at least some organizing to put stuff in the bag because it's not that hard to pack if you have everything out and ready to go in the bag, then you can just, you know, toss it in the bag. Um, and then I went, then I dug out gloves <laughs> and uh, went back outside and finished the car. So, a um, couple things about running back. I'm probably going to be wearing my big black and yellow Rockefeller like I always do. It's a very distinctive shawl, it's very easy for people to find me. Feel free to come up and say hi. I'm happy to talk to people if you're going to be there. This year I have something special. I had buttons made. So here is the button. It says Sarah Nova Crafts. It has my Ravelry. And it says Rhinebeck 2018. Yes, I dated them. So, I ordered 100 of these. I'm keeping about 10 back. So like I gave a couple to a couple of friends. Um, I have still have a few more friends around here that would like buttons, so I kept about 10. So I have about 90 of these to give out on the day. Well, Saturday and Sunday, because I'm going both days, because Jen, who is Storm Coast, and I um, both got two-day passes. So I'm going to be there Saturday and Sunday. So if you want a button, come find me. I will have... Hopefully I don't run out. If I give out 90-some-odd buttons, that'll be, that'll be a thing. Um, but anyways, um, on to the Rhinebeck sweater. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen pictures of this, but um, I finished... The body. So, so last time I showed it to you, so there's the marker of where I was last time I showed this to you. Um, but anyways, um, I hadn't quite reached the sleeves yet. I was still doing shoulder increases. So I was here. Well, now I have separated the sleeves. And I have finished the body! Completely. Yes, completely. Um, and by finish the body, I mean I even did the button bands. Like, it is done. I mean, okay, no ends have been woven in. No buttons have... Confetti. Stop it. Bad cat. Bad girl. Bad, bad, bad. Tss. Don't know where the canned air went. We use canned air because it doesn't hurt them, but it's a noise they don't like. You know, so when they're being bad, we use the canned air. Don't know where the canned air went. Kevin moved it. I don't know where it is. Kevin, where's the canned air? Anyways, um, so I have both button bands and I finished this button band this morning. Yes, it hasn't been blocked, but like, you know, I'm stretching it. Um, so, uh, my goal is to at least have a vest for... <laughs> My goal was to at least have a vest for Saturday, and I have achieved that goal. So if I don't get the sleeves done between now and Saturday, I can at least weave in the ends, get buttons on it, and wear it as a vest. Right? So I can at least do that, <laughs> even if I have live stitches sitting on waist yard. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Um, I'm going to turn around so you can see the back. So this is the cable. Right? So there you go, it's actually pretty warm, I'm getting hot, <laughs> sitting here with it on. Um, because I finally convinced Kevin to turn the heat on in the house. Like, the heat was not on, I'm like, what is this? Why is the heat not on? Finally we turned the heat on, oh my god, it was, I was, he was sitting there in a t-shirt on the couch, and I was sitting there on the same couch, three feet away, in a hoodie with the hood up, socks on, under a blanket, with knitting on my lap. And he's like, are you cold? I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> But anyways, yes, I at least have a vest for Saturday. I'm hoping if I cast on the sleeves tonight, what I'm gonna, well, pick up the sleeves. So I'm not casting on the sleeves, I'm picking up the sleeves. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the sleeves two at a time. Um, because the sweater has enough stretch that I can, you know, just put the two sleeves 
because this is how they're going to be side by side on the needles and I can just do the sleeves two at a time. Which, I don't normally do stuff two at a time. But like, I don't do socks two at a time because of the yarn management and stuff like that, but socks are a purse project. There's something I'm pulling in and out of a bag, da 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 but When I'm doing something like a sweater, when I want the sleeves to be exactly the same length, I will do two at a time on a single needle magic loop. Because um, I don't do the two needle magic loop, that's just too much, that's too fiddly for me. I mean, if you do it, that's totally fine. It's not my thing, it's too fiddly for me. If you like it, more power to you. Um, but yeah, so, so um, I'm planning when I get home today from work, um, which Jen may or may not be at my house tonight. That is still a little up in the air. Either way, she's going to be at my place in the morning and we are going to drive to Rhinebeck together. But, um, I don't know if she's actually spending the night or not. <laughs> uh, she, the original plan was, but the original plan might change. But anyway, so I gotta pick up the sleeves and do the sleeves. But, the sleeves are just basic stock in that. There is no cabling on the sleeves and then just two by two ribbing for the cuffs. So those should fly because it's worsted weight yarn. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one ball for each sleeve and hopefully one ball is enough, but mm, I'll bring extra yarn, but one ball for each sleeve. Um, and uh, the only other project I've worked on since you last saw me um, is the socks. And I've worked on the socks because uh, the sweater is not necessarily portable. So, um, so the socks next time you saw them was where that marker is. And I have done all of this since then. I'm almost, I'm getting close to done the foot. I'm going to have to do the heel soon. Again, I'm going to make up my mind about which side is the top of the sock when I get there. I'm leaning towards, leaning towards this side. But I mean, it's speckled yarn, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll make up my mind when I get there. I'm just going to keep trying the, the sock on and it should be good. So... I'm, yeah, I'm going to be at Rhinebeck. Um, we're staying at some cabins in Phoenicia. So we're going to be driving to fin to Rhinebeck from Phoenicia on Saturday and Sunday morning. Um, I'm super excited to see everyone tomorrow. It's going to be great. Um, the weather, it's like perfect sweater weather. Um, Sunday's supposed to be colder though. So I'm definitely bringing a jacket with me for Sunday. But um, Saturday looks like it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Last year, it was almost a little too warm to wear a sweater. So, unfortunately, we, like, everyone was walking around in t-shirts, which kind of sucks. Um, because, you know, everybody knits their Rhinebeck sweaters and all that stuff, and then you couldn't wear them. Um, but I am hopeful that it is going to be good sweater weather, and I won't have to cover it up with a, uh, with a jacket. But I'm bringing the jacket anyways, just in case. I'm also bringing shawls and hats and stuff. Um you know, as backup. And I'm definitely bringing gloves. Um, definitely gonna have an umbrella. It's not supposed to rain, but I always just keep an umbrella in my car anyways. Um, it was a big pile of stuff when I cleaned out my car this morning. Um, Cause it's that time of year in New England where it's cold in the morning, but it's warm in the afternoon. So like I work five hour shifts at my synagogue. So when I leave at 8.15 in the morning, it's cold, so I have a sweater on, whatever. By the time I leave at 2, 2.30 in the afternoon, it's warm out. So I'll take off the sweater or whatever, and I'll throw it in my back seat. And then the next morning, I'll grab something else from the closet, wear that, and it just piles up in the back seat. It's just one of those things that it just, it just piles up in the back seat. So I figured, um, since somebody else is going to be in the car with me, I would clean it out. Even though it's only one person and she would fit in the front seat fine, um, I figured it would be good to still give my car a little bit of a cleaning. Um, I didn't get around to vacuuming it, but that's fine. Uh, so anyways, I think that is everything. Um, I'm basically almost ready to go. I just got to throw some clothes in a bag. I've already decided on what clothes. They just need to go in said bag. Um, and I might make the final decision about which projects I'm bringing in the morning. I know I'm going to bring my socks because these are nice and easy. Um, but, and obviously the sweater, because I want to finish that. So if I finish this Friday night, I can wear it on Saturday. Um, but, uh, and oh, and I do have buttons. I have buttons. I don't have to go get buttons. I have this big bag of buttons I ordered online. It was like, I got it off of Wish for like $2 plus like a dollar shipping. It's a hundred wooden buttons that are about this big and they all have like various floral patterns on them. I'm hoping I can find eight of the same in there. If not, I'll just put the wrong side out because they're all just wood. Um, but I have buttons, so I don't need buttons. Having buttons is good. So anyways, um, I think that is everything. Um, like, subscribes, comments are all very much appreciated. If you're going to be at Rhinebeck and you see this before Saturday, feel free to cut. If you see me wearing my giant black and yellow Rockefeller, which if you go on my project page and look it up, you'll, you'll see. It's the, um, 
that that uh that shawl is the header on my youtube page like that that shawl the black and yellow shawl because i'm a hufflepuff and proud of it and i scream it from the heavens um uh, uh, like I, like, I need to get a Hufflepuff sticker for my car. Like, this is, right? Um, but anyways, um, like I said, like, subscribe, comments are all appreciated. I do have a Discord for this. I haven't been on Discord recently because I've been so busy. But, um, feel free to join the Discord server. It's linked on YouTube or in the description of the Ravelry group. Um, it's not linked on the blog, but you can find it on YouTube, so just click on the video if you're watching this on the blog. Um, confetti, don't get on the stove. She has been nothing but trouble this morning. I have to edit out some stuff because... I had to yell at the cats because they were chasing each other. Anyways, I've made this outro way, way too long. And I hope I will see you guys at Rhinebeck on Saturday. And I'm so excited to see the Canadian Dinner and Crafty Girl. And, you know, so Sue and Lynn and Sarah and Jen and, and Mandy and Andrea. And, oh, my God, there's just so many people. It's going to be so nice to see everyone. We're going to be all in the same place and it's just oh it's gonna be so nice and I really need the weekend away like I really really need this is a vacation because next weekend when I'm gonna be working SAF so I'm gonna be at SAF next weekend by the way if you didn't see my previous episode where I talked about this I'm gonna be at SAF next weekend but next weekend isn't a vacation I'm working next weekend this weekend is a vacation I get three days I get a three-day weekend to just knit and hang out with my friends and just talk about yarn and it's going to be amazing and I am so so happy and excited so anyways I think that is everything and I will see you guys next week before I go to SAF have a good one bye